Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Girly or Previous. I know what you guys are thinking. Indus Pepe, why do you have Rainbow Rocks playing? Well, today is a very special day. Um, we have a new pony here that actually stemmed from Rainbow Rocks. And I know what you guys are thinking, like, Indus Pepe, there's tons of Equestria Girl dolls. Like, we've seen one, we've seen a million. Um, yes and no. Um, this beauty... I'm very, very proud to have her because I call, I've i saved up a long time, especially for her. Um, so, I have the show playing so we can actually judge how close she is to the actual version of her on the show. So, I'm just going to let this play while I show you guys her. Everybody? I'm proud to announce that we now have in the collection the San Diego Comic Con 2015 exclusive of Psy Twy. Yes, from Rainbow Rocks. Her box is gorgeous. Oh my god. Uh, at first, on a question daily, I thought this was the back at first. Because originally, we didn't see this. But now we see this. The side has these holes in it which are awesome because then you can touch her that sounded dirty it was not meant to be dirty on the back we have this gorgeous picture of her based on the one from the show it says here no doubt about it spike there's something weird going on about that school i will read what it says on here on the paper in a minute i currently have to turn the tv turn the computer so that we can actually see what she's going to look like All right, we're going to see how close she is to the actual product that's on the show. I don't know how many other people have tried putting the two of them together, but we're going to see. On Girly Girl Previews, I am a stickler for this kind of stuff. I love seeing if they're accurate. All right. Okay, right off the bat, we already knew that that map is actually in the box. Okay. All right, so if I get rid of this here, all right, how do I get rid of that? In a sky pie, great at Netflix. So that's really something going on with my butthole, Spike. Okay, there. All right. So, okay, we've got here, all right, she's got a pencil in her hair. I know what you guys are thinking, like, in a sky pie, what the hell does that have to do with anything? She does, in fact, have a pencil in her hair, in the doll. But the, ma the big thing that I've noticed is the glasses. The glasses are actually different than the ones on the doll. The one on the doll actually has her cutie mark right in the middle, uh, where this one doesn't. This one's more plain nerd glasses. So now we are going to bring Sideswai into the picture. Here she is. I'm going to bring her here, put this down here, so you guys can get a good look at her. This is Sideswai. She looks freaking accurate as hell to the actual one from the movie. And are we to believe that she had a streaming camera at the Battle of the Bands? Because you got down here a little laptop with um, the Dazzling singing. So either she had webcam footage or streaming video. You mean she's a spy! <laughs> but you see the spike down here? This spike is actually glittery. He's bigger than the normal spike that would normally come with the Slumbertime Twilight. But um, he is, he's bigger, and he's also got glitter inside of him, so that's really cool. Um, see if I can get a better look at her, like, give you guys a better look. She's got her signature um, lab coat on there. She's got her uh, uh, Friendship Games medallion around her neck. So you can use her as a zap code for the uh, Equestria Girls app. But the thing I love about her, she does come with the uh, lockers, which will attach to, like, I think the locker sets that are coming out, and then also the photo finish locker set, which according was a Amazon exclusive, but now they're, like, selling them in a locker set. So, I don't know. Amazon's probably trying to cash in on that. Um, but the really cool thing that I find about this, she does have the pencil. In her, in her hair, I keep, me, I keep wanting to say mane, but 
she's actually wearing, I'm going to tilt her sideways here, she's wearing little uh, medical gloves. They're darker than her normal tone, and also if you look carefully enough underneath, you can see that her normal skin is actually peeking through under the lab coat. The lab coat is made out of very, very like nice, like silky material, and it's just gorgeous. It's got a really almost like a Gladys kind of texture on it, almost like a Gladys meets photo finish kind of look to her lab coat. It's really nice. Uh, it's got little tiny buttons on it. But the thing I love is her is her little sweater dress she has underneath. It's actually almost made out of like a wool, which is really nice. You can tell that they really put some time and effort into making this piece rather than just whipping her up like, well, not that I'm trying to say that the uh, normal ones are whipped right up. It's just that this one, they put a lot of time and effort into making her. And no wonder she was a Comic-Con exclusive and expensive as hell. I know if you had gone to Comic-Con, you could have easily got her, like, for 50 bucks. I bought her with, um, along with Pinkie Pie as a chicken. I do have her, and she's right here. But I'd like to advise you guys ahead of time, I'm not going to open her up until, um, until my birthday. So I'm not going to open her until Halloween. But it does look like a box of KFC. Um, in fact, when I opened, when I got her out of her, like, her shipping box, my dad literally thought that me and my mom had gone to get KFC. The box is, I'd say, maybe a little bit bigger than a KFC bucket, but the color scheme is actually different than a KFC bucket. It's actually, it's actually the, um, normal My Little Pony Pink, whereas the KFC is blood red, basically. Probably to simulate the amount of chickens I got killed to make the chicken. I don't want to talk about chicken right now. I like chickens. They're awesome. That's why I bought Chicken Pinkie Pie. Look at her. <laughs> but yeah, I'm saving her for Halloween, which A, is my birthday, and then B, is also the fact that she's freaking Nightmare Night Pinkie Pie. It's perfect for Halloween. Um... But yeah, these are San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Uh, when I bought them, they also came with their actual collector bag, which is huge as hell. People, this bag, oh my god, this bag is almost as big as me. Alright, we have a picture of Sci-Twy up here, and then we have a chicken pinky pie down here, and there's actually candy along this area. Let's look at some pony candy, shall we? That's some nice pony candy. And then on the other side, we got G.I. Joe, Catboy Van's favorite. And I think this, yeah, Transformers down here, so, you know, typical <laughs> awesomeness from Hasbro. But, um, yeah, um, also there's an ad for Hasbro Toy Shop. I bought from them one time. I'm not stating that you shouldn't buy from them, but, like, only buy from them if you have, like, a lot of money. Because I live in Canada, and in order for, I think it was like three Equestria Girl dolls and a Cadence figure, in order for them to show up, it was over $100, and I only went on there for the $50 free shipping thing. You paid $50, you get free shipping. And that's what it was supposed to be, but in the end, all the all the other costs equaled up to a hundred. It kind of was bad, so I only buy from them if I really have to. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, both these beauties, uh, Pinkie Pie Chicken as well as um, Sci-Fi, were actually <laughs> I bought them from eBay, so. <laughs> Three hundred dollars, yeah, three hundred dollars. But they're worth it. Oh my gosh, and that was cheap on eBay. So yeah, um, highly recommend these if you have the money. But if you don't, wait to see if they ever go on sale on eBay. They might not. They might. It's the same with the Sapphire Shore figure. I still have to get her. Um, I have to wait till next month to put some money in for her. But yeah, uh, people. 
tell me in the comments below if you guys think I should start uh, doing like box reviews of the Equestria Girl dolls because if you guys want that I will start doing that because I do have the dolls and I would love to do reviews of that if you guys want so tell me in the comments below but yeah I wanted to tell you guys that these two are here and they're happy and they are so pretty also um Twilight's gloves they actually feel like rubber so that's really really a lot of detail they're worth their money they're major collector pieces if you guys do buy them I highly highly recommend uh, keeping them in their boxes if you can like I have really really good self-control so that's why she's in her they're gonna stay in their boxes but yeah so yeah this video is kind of fine for another episode of girly that probably you saying I've got a single word going through my head that makes sense and oh my god this is going on to be 11 minutes see you guys next time oh my god the computer's gonna die oh <laughs>